All right, forgive the uh, poor quality here, just using a phone to record the screen here instead of setting up uh, OBS or anything like that. But this is going to show you the O Connect or O Plus Connect from Oppo on a Windows machine. So we're gonna kind of get this all set up. And give me just a moment to get this logged in. All right, we got signed in and this just popped up as the very next step. So you can see that this is showing some files that are on my Oppo. I am using the, oh, just got a low battery alert, sorry, distracted me, but I am using the Oppo Find X8 Ultra, as you can see here. Easy way to tell is no more alert slider. Now it's got the shortcut button, but um, these are the files that are on there. Now what's nice about this is that I can drag and drop. Let's say I want to drag and drop this installer. Goes right there and it transfers over to the phone and it immediately popped up on the phone saying, hey, we just got a file. So that's pretty nice. Now, let's see if this will work because I'm seeing some people have some issues with it. So I want to test it. Works great on the Mac. So let's go into settings. We'll go down to multi-screen and it says searching. And again, sorry for the poor quality of this. This is just a real quick off the cuff, but you can see no device found. I'm not sure why that part doesn't work, but we're gonna try a different way. We're gonna go into remote PC and it's looking around. So while I'm waiting on this, I can open that on the Mac and plus all right so it's definitely not going to just find it so it should work but it definitely has just a real quick look issues. at the exact same app on a mac so you can see that uh you know there's your typical mac icons but you can see that it works a little bit different here so what i'm going to do is on the oppo i'm going to click on remote desktop and we'll see what happens here in just a moment. Loading PC desktop, and there is the image. So that is exactly what we just saw on the Mac. If I can get it to wake up, there we go. You can see that it is a mirrored image. It doesn't like to stay on, but had to log back in. But you can see that it is a full mirror of it. So if I scroll back to desktop, you can see that it's doing the same there. If I want to go in and look at that folder, you can see there are the images in there. So it works perfect on the Mac. And it's got some really cool things. Like here, you could just go in and say, become a mouse. You can do your right clicks, left clicks, scroll around, selecting everything as you can see there. So it gives you a lot of control. This is really a nice program when it works. Thanks for watching.